Hello everyone, I'm Jared the Greek, and welcome to your Secret Stage Game News for December 4th, 2015. First off, big news that came out recently. New PS2 games will show up on PS4 Market. These include Dark Cloud, GTA 3, GTA Vice City, GTA San Andreas, Rogue Galaxy, Mark of the Cree, Twisted Metal Black, and War of the Monsters. There will be no disc emulation, nor will the PS3 downloads of these games be transferable to PS4, at least according to a current rumor. These things should be clarified at the PlayStation Experience this weekend. The US release date for Dark Souls 3 has been announced. It will be April 12th, and Dark Souls 3 will be on PS4, PC, and Xbox One. We have an update on Shadow Complex Remastered. It has now been officially confirmed that it will be on PS4, Xbox One, in addition to the PC version that we already knew about. In addition to more games coming to PC, Hyper Devotion Noir Goddess Blackheart is getting a PC port. This is a tactical spin-off of the Hyper Dimension Neptunia games. Speaking of which, Hyper Dimension Neptunia U Action Unleashed will also be getting a PC port, meaning we're getting quite a few of the Hyper Dimension games on PC, which is kind of awesome for those of us who need to catch up on that franchise. The December Destiny update will be heavily built around the Titan class. You can find full details on the Bungie website. However, the cliff notes are essentially defenders get their buffs improved, strikers get a better passive bonuses, and the Sunbreaker will get nerfed. So for all of you who play as Titan class, keep note of that because it may change what character becomes your primary character. There was a bunch of news and what have you that came out of the Game Awards. And if you want a more in-depth discussion about that, that will be on an upcoming Secret Stage show. And information will be available on that in the next news release after we know when we're doing that show. Personally, I don't want to waste my time talking about the reach around that is the Video Game Awards. However, there are a few little news stories that I felt were worth talking about. The first comes from Telltale Games, where they had a trailer that teased a brand new Batman game. I'm actually curious about this. For those who listen to the old podcast, you know that I wasn't the biggest fan of the Arkham series of games, but doing it in Telltale style might be a lot of fun and add a lot more detectiving to the Dark Knight story, which is really something that got taken out of a character who originated in Detective Comics. The second thing that is brought up is... Double Fine has announced that they are doing Psychonauts 2, super timely, 10 plus years after the release of the original game, and it's already reached over a million in donations because, well, it's a cult classic and people are willing to throw their money at this. There's plenty of videos that will talk about Double Fine and their poor financial management and issues that occurred with some of their previous Kickstarters, and I'm not going to get all political on this. This is a newscast and not an opinion show. Which brings me to our final piece of drama that came out of the Game Awards. Konami banned Hideo Kojima from attending the Game Awards, even though Phantom Pain was nominated for several different awards. Classy Konami. Super duper classy. Yeah, everyone's kind of pissed at Konami. In related news, water is wet and air is free. And that's the news of the day. Remember, if you want to find out anything else that's going on with the Secret Stage team, check us out on Twitter, SR underscore Secret Stage. If you want to hear more about me, my opinions on games and etc., you can always check out my blog, jaredthegreek.tumblr.com, or find me on the Twitters, at jaredthegreek. Until next time, remember, I'm a player, so don't be a player hater.